Hello everyone. Welcome to this series on literary terms and theories. And in this video, we are going to discuss the term anacreonautica in Spanish poetry. Introduction. Anacreonautica is a Spanish poetic genre that traces its roots to the ancient Greek poet Anacreon of Teos, who lived in the 5th century BCE. This genre, which flourished particularly in the 18th century, is characterized by its themes of nature, pastoral life, and a celebration of simple pleasures. Anacreonautica became a popular form of expression among Spanish poets, drawing heavily on the pastoral tradition while adapting the style and themes to fit the cultural context of the time. Origin and Influence of Anacreon Anacreon of Teos, a lyric poet from ancient Greece, is the namesake of the Anacreonautica genre. Anacreon's poetry was known for its light, lyrical style, often focusing on themes of love, wine, and the joys of life. His work celebrated the fleeting pleasures of existence set against the backdrop of nature and pastoral simplicity. These themes resonated with later poets, particularly in Spain, where the genre found fertile ground. Development of Anacreonautica in Spain The Anacreonautica genre gained popularity in Spain during the 18th century, a period marked by a revival of classical forms and ideas. Spanish poets were inspired by pastoral themes and the focus on nature that characterized Anacreon's work. They sought to emulate his style, creating poems that celebrated the beauty of the natural world, the simplicity of rural life, and the pleasure of love and friendship. Characteristics of Anacreonautica Anacreonautica poems are typically short and lyrical, often employing a simple and direct language that reflects the pastoral life they depict. The genre is marked by its emphasis on nature, with poets using imagery of flowers, trees, streams, and meadows to evoke a sense of peace and tranquility. Love and friendship are also central themes, portrayed as pure and uncomplicated, much like the natural settings in which the poems are often placed. The 18th century popularity The 18th century saw a significant rise in the popularity of Anacreonautica in Spain. During this time, there was a broader cultural movement towards Neoclassicism, which sought to revive the forms and ideals of ancient Greece and Rome. Anacreonautica, with its roots in the classical tradition, fit well within this movement. Spanish poets of the time found in this genre a way to express their admiration for nature and the simple life, while also participating in the broader cultural revival of classical ideals. Legacy of Anacreonautica Although the popularity of Anacreonautica waned in the centuries that followed, its influence can still be seen in later literary movements that emphasize nature and simplicity. The genre's focus on pastoral themes and the celebration of life's simple pleasures resonated with Romantic poets in the 19th century, who also sought to escape the complexities of modern life by retreating into nature. Conclusion Anacreonautica represents a significant chapter in the history of Spanish poetry, rooted in the ancient traditions of Greece but adapted to the cultural and literary context of 18th century Spain. By celebrating nature, pastoral life and the simple joys of existence, this genre offered poets a way to engage with the classical past while also expressing their own cultural identity. The legacy of Anacreonautica continues to be felt in the enduring appeal of pastoral themes in literature. So this was the discussion on the term Anacreonautica in Spanish poetry. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other term. Until then, 
गुड बाय एंड थैंक यू